What's up guys, Joe here from Subtle Art Soap. Hope you're all doing well. So I have another cutting video for you. I know it's been a few weeks since I've done one. This is a, a really busy time of year, so it's pretty much just been making soap, cutting soap, wrapping soap. But I have a little break in the action tonight, so I figure I'd cut this, do a video cutting this new lemon and lavender. Now I say new because our current lemon and lavender doesn't have this purple swirl. And the purple swirl, I was able to uh, pick up some purple Brazilian clay. So that's what the purple swirl is. So let's give it a cut and uh, see what we have. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that came out really nice. I did make a few of these because uh, we are we were running low and last weekend at the farmers market. This one was our current lemon and lavender was a a big hit. Usually is at the farmers market. So I think I figured I'd make a few more. And we'll get a couple of them cut on video, and the rest of them I'm just going to cut. I think we might be getting to that point where we're going to start needing some, some bigger molds. I'm going to give this a, uh, give the wires a quick wipe down, and then I'll throw another one on here. This other one I'm going to throw on, same thing, lemon and lavender with the purple Brazilian clay. So I want to see how much different... swirl looks because I had a little bit more so I think this one was the beginning of the pour and the other one I just cut was towards the end so I wanted to see the difference so let's see what this one has yeah very cool Very, very nice. Working with the colored clays can be a little challenging because you're not sure, you're not sure how they're going to react there in the saponification process, if they're going to lose their color. they're going to get brighter but the clays that we've been using have been really consistent and this one is uh this one is exactly what we were looking for see how this changes so you got this one at one end of the bar and you got this one at the other end how that swirl changes Really, really cool. This one smells great too. Check that out. All right, guys, that'll do it. That was lemon and lavender. And I do have a few more that I'm going to be pouring this week. And hopefully I can get a couple more uh, cutting videos out for you to show you what those are looking like. Because we're going to use a uh, different... Slightly different technique, one that I haven't used in a while. All right, guys, that'll do it. Take care.